Let's start now with Fox 61, Matt Karen, who's been with incumbent Johanna Hayes is uh, watch party tonight down in Waterbury. Matt, I know you were able to get into the venue there. So what have you been seeing? It looks like you're back outside now. <laughs> yeah, Emma, so we uh, we actually left the courtyard Marriott, which is where Johanna Hayes is having her watch party, because quite frankly, there just wasn't a whole lot going on there. Uh, people were just starting to come into the room. They blew up the balloons. But we said, ah, let's get out to where the people are and see if we can talk to some voters and actually see if we could talk to Johanna Hayes herself, because one of the members of the campaign said that if you go in front of Crosby High School, there's a chance she might show up before the polls close at 8 o'clock. Well, here we are in front of Crosby High School. We have not seen Johanna Hayes. And of course, the po polls are closed now. But good news is we did speak with one of her supporters and she told us exactly why she supports the incumbent Democratic Congresswoman. Very personal reasons. Here's what she had to say. I didn't like the smear campaigns, but uh, I, I definitely know who's probably going to win it. And she's sorry. She's great. You know, I love her. You know, she, she's for the people. She uh she knows what it's like to be a single mom and, you know, no, no future. And she, she pulled herself out of that and look at her. She's, she's great. She's very into education, which I'm really, really passionate about. I'm a foster mom of an autistic child and she, uh, her education values I really, really admire. Johanna Hayes is 51 years old. She got elected in 2019, made history as the first black Democrat and black woman to represent Connecticut in Congress. The 5th District, as Emma mentioned, the state's most purple one. Democratic control since 2006 and encompasses much of western Connecticut. A few municipalities, big ones like Waterbury and Danbury. Uh, but back in 2022, this race, of course, now a rematch. But back then, just 2,000 votes separated these two candidates. A really close one. Hayes, of course, from Waterbury, former National Teacher of the Year and considers herself a progressive. So as these uh, votes continue to come in, we're going to watch them. We're going to count them. And as soon as we know something, we'll bring it, of course, straight to you. But for now, we're live here in Waterbury. Matt Karen, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.